Breaking news, ex-governor Obino's wife, Ebele Chuku, slaps Bianca Ojuku at Soludo's inauguration. Hello, my wonderful people. Women are fighting dirty. Uh, they are fighting dirty at uh, Soludo's inauguration. You know the governor-elect um, who has taken over today, the governor of Anambra State, Soludo, his inauguration is today. And his wife, uh, the wife of the outgoing governor, uh, you know, Willie, uh, you know, was engaged in physical combat. Okay, maybe she has been taking some classes and uh, needed to experiment or show how much she has been able to achieve, you know, by the classes so far. And so I don't know what Ojuku, you know, Bianca Ojuku did to her. However... It did not uh, go down well with her. And at the end of the day, we saw that uh, some slaps were received um, at Saludo's inauguration in a public place. You know, whatever has gone on, we need to control our temper and um, let things be. You can say that if you don't know exactly what is going on. Uh, but this is what happened during the inauguration today that is causing a lot of stir and reaction. Why would the governor's wife go ahead and give somebody boah? You know, so that's what is happening. You see, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. See what really happened. Why he had to, you know, give the governor's wife, uh, the governor's wife had to give Bianca boah. Let's get all the details. Breaking news. Ex-governor's wife, Ebele Chuku, slaps Bianca Ujuku at Soludo's inauguration. Drama ensued on Thursday at the inauguration of Professor Soludo as the governor of Anambra when the wife of the outgoing governor, Willie Obino Ebele Chuku, slapped Mrs. Bianca Ujuku at the event. The news agency of Nigeria, NAN, correspondent who was at the scene of the event, reports that the incident occurred immediately after Soludo took his oath of office. NAN reports that delegates, including ex-governor Obino, were already seated when Mrs. Obino stepped in and moved to the front row where the widow, Ojuku, was seated and slapped her. The action drew the attention of security agencies and some personalities who pulled Mrs. Obino off the hold of Bianca, who was visibly shocked at the action as she was sitting quietly when Mrs. Willie Obino came and slapped her. Mrs. Obino was later taken away and shortly afterward her husband left the venue. Since the incident happened after the new governor has been sworn in, no report has been heard from them. Recall that Vanguard has reported that APGA reconciled with Bianca Ujuku when a delegation which includes the Speaker, Anambra State House of Assembly, Mr. Victor Okafo, was led by a former chairman of the party, Chief Victor Ube, visited the wife of the former Biafra warlord. In her remark, Bianca Ujuku had said that it was sad that the party found itself in such a dilemma that could have been averted. The former Nigerian ambassador to Spain regretted that previous efforts made to ensure agreed members of the party hit the rock seem not to have settled. There have been there have been to date at least two more committees that have been set up by the governor to advance the to advance grievances of very great number of AGF AG APGA members who are dissatisfied with the party. The first and second reconciliation meeting made reconciliations, but they never saw the light of day, she said. She also pledged to put behind the incidents uh, of the past and contributes to the progress of the party. I am very, I am very much working forward to putting behind the dark history of the party and bad experience, and so many of its members have had still experiencing. Let's forget about it and move forward, she has said. 
we are all looking forward to moving forward to a future unconnected with bad memories of the past. We believe that on November 6th, we have a new governor in Anambra under APGA and we will put behind this very bad chapter of the history, Mrs. Ojuku has said. So this is what happened. You know, a, a, she went there and she slapped the woman. Oh! Everybody was shocked because the woman was already seated. So whatever they had before is between them two. Okay, and should not really come into the misc of everything that has just happened. So everybody was really shocked. Everybody was really like seriously shocked. She went to where the woman was sitting and slapped her. Now, this could be stemming from previous grievances, agreements, arrangements, and, you know, somebody not pleased, not happy with what is going on. Okay, it could be as a result of previous grievances. No doubt. It is okay not to be happy with a particular thing. It's okay. Trust me. There's no crime in you being, un being unhappy. Say, you know what? I'm not happy with what is going on. There should be no problem, really. If you're unhappy, you're unhappy about it. Okay, and you should be able to express yourself. It should not be a crime, you know, but for an event of such magnitude to be going on, you know, everybody's seated. I, I personally, I don't know what, the, whatever has gone on transpired between the jail, but I fault it that the woman is seated. Both of you could have raised your voice or you could, could have approached her after the ceremony saying, ah, ah, Madam, I heard this or this happened. Why did you do this? Okay, not in the not in when a governor is already sworn being sworn in. You go there and you disrupt everything and you are being chased out, you know, taken out, and your husband, you, you think your husband will be happy? Did you make him proud or you disgraced him on the day of his, you know, on the, on the day of his outing service? The day he should be leaving, that both of you should be celebrated. Everybody very grateful to God that you have served, you finished your tenure, you know, and um, with, with, whether you like it or not, everything has gone on. But guess what? You caused a drama. Do you know the memory? You have? You've left a, a memory because that is, you know, things happen in certain days may not make much of a difference, may not make, but things happen in some days. Hey, hey, hey. It makes a huge whole lot of difference because of what the specificity of how it happened, the day all that it entails, you see. So you shouldn't have done that. Whatever you have with the woman, let her face her. Leave us a comment. God bless. Bye for now.